And the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is tonight assuring the country that the election results will not be tampered with at any point of the transmission chain. Following a successful test run of the results transmission systems today at the Bombers of Kenya, the electoral body is exuding confidence that the elections management systems is efficient in delivery and tamper-proof as well. Brenda Wango with that report. A minute of silence for the fallen IEBC ICT manager marked the start of the IEBC's real-life simulation of the results transmission systems. We've spent a lot more time on, and given the experiences of 2013, we thought we needed to be certain about what we're investing in, especially given the importance of having free, fair, and credible elections. And that's why we are here. In the presence of invited guests, including observers and party representatives, as well as diplomats, the IEBC put on a show aimed at demonstrating its preparedness to activate the final processes of the integrated elections management systems. The systems that have already been used in voter registration will also be used to identify the voter at the polling station and to transmit the results from the polling center to the county tallying center and eventually to the national tallying center. Are the, results that will be the presidential results will be transmitted electronically with the processes involved beamed to all and sundry via the giant TV screens erected around the National Tallying Center. The process is designed to be transparent in that the public can view the feed from the presidential results in the counties as they will be screened in real time. This will be backed up by the message from the returning officers from the county. However, the IEBC says only the results as reflected in the scanned form will count. The results will come directly from the polling station to the tiling center. So all the tiling centers will be viewing the same results as for us here at the National Tiling Center. There will be no human intervention. What do we call that? The transmission of the results will be dependent on the strength of the contracted mobile network operators, Safaricom, Airtel and Telcom. Candidates, agents and voters in areas and in cases where communication network may not be available, will be advised to move to areas where network is assured. In some areas, they may cover a few, a few uh, uh, I mean, people know where the network is. The IEBC also assures the country that the systems in place will be tamper-proof. However, the IEBC says it will not transmit the results of some 33 electoral areas due to court processes. This will, however, have no impact on the presidential tally. Brenda Wanga, NTV, at the Bombers of Kenya, Nairobi.